Hey guys, how's it going? Victor from Victor G Photography here. I just wanted to make a pretty short video. Well, hopefully I'll try to keep it short anyways. Uh, but I wanted to make one about what I actually use to edit with in Lightroom. There's a ton of ways that people edit in Photoshop and Lightroom and I believe that I found the quickest way for me to be able to go through them all, call through them, select the ones I really like uh, super fast and then how to edit them in the develop module as well as utilizing time and energy and everything like that. And I'm actually use only three different tools that I use uh, and I'll go over for you right now. With Lightroom there's a lot of tools out there that you can use to help speed up the process with editing and culling all the photos that you get especially like what I do is weddings mainly and and portrait sessions and photo shoots and so I often have to go through a lot of photos like with weddings I'm going through a few thousand photos and I have to narrow them down to a few hundred photos to be able to deliver to the bride and groom and so the tool that I use for just narrowing down all the photos that make it really fast is this. And this is the Logitech, I think it's the F310, but it is a USB controller. You, There's a lot of different ones out there you can use. Uh, so what's cool about this is that it is, uh, you can map out all the buttons to do different things. And I'll show you in the video a little bit later, but the buttons that I use mainly are these top ones and then these uh, ones right here, all four of them. And what it'll do is it'll let me select four to six photos at a time, um, decide which ones I like. I can scroll through them. I can hit flag or unflag, and then I can go to the next ones and the next ones and the next ones. And it just really speeds up the process as far as editing um, because I'm able to go through all those photos select the ones that I really like, and then call through those ones again if I need to, and so on. Another one that a lot of people use, uh, especially in Photoshop, is a tablet. Uh, this is just a simple writing tablet. This one is a really cheap one. This is the Vise tablet pen pad. Um, same thing with Photoshop. You don't need a big one when you're working with photos. The, it, you just cover a lot of ground using a small one and you're making the small fine tuning adjustments with, uh, you know, going through for blemish removal or painting or, uh, you know, high dodging and burning, things like that. This one is really cheap. This one I got for, I think like 25 bucks. There's the, the big, the big name ones like Wacom and Intuos and those will, uh, all have different size pads and everything, but they're initially all the same. You use a pen tool to go in fine tune and do details. And to be honest, this is so much better than a mouse. There is a little bit of a learning curve on this one in the very beginning, but after you get it kind of down, it becomes really intuitive after a while, just using your hand, just as you would using like a pencil or a pen. The third one, which I'm actually really excited to show you is a new one that I just got. And this is a MIDI controller. And this one, um, just the same like the gamepad earlier, you can assign you know, functions to every single one of these buttons. But the main thing that I really am excited about is these knobs right here. And these let me uh, assign these to different parts of the Lightroom process, editing process and develop mode. So like this one is for temperature, this one is for tint, exposure, you know, contrast, highlights, you know, shadows, blacks, uh, whites, all of those. And it just makes going through all of the photos so fast without having to go individually using you know the either the keypad or a mouse i'll use this in combination with the writing tablet uh using the pen you know the pen tool to uh go over any fine details that i need and then using the knobs uh but really like this you can assign i've, I've assigned all the buttons on there i really need to get stickers first just so i know which ones are which but after a while um i should be able to just feel around and know which ones are which so i'll go ahead and show you uh how they all work and that way you can get a good idea of the things that i go through with it all right to start off on here you see me using the uh, analog thumbstick and it can drag the arrow left and right and up and down and everything like that. The D-pad itself will let me go through and select all the different photos. I can go up, down, left, right. All of these you can assign in the um, program that comes with the Logitech F310. Um, but what, like I said, I assign different buttons for different things. And this is how I call through my photos really quickly. What I'll do is I'll go through and I'll um, go individually because I'll decide okay, I want to look at four to six photos at a time. And so by mapping out these two buttons right here, you can see it selected the next four, and then it brought it into the 
uh, the loop view or the one of the views. And so what I can do is I can just go through and say, I really like that one. Uh, that one's just okay. That one I don't like. So I'm just going to hit unflag. All of these are flagged on the screen, as you can see there. Um, say that's okay. So I'll go to the next ones, go through, say, I don't really care for that one too much. Uh, that one can go to, now I want to look at six. It'll select the next six. And then I can just go through. And if I want to individually, I can say, well, let me take a closer look at that one. All right. And then you just go back. The A button is the select. And what's great is B is to go back. So to undo what I just did. So I can go back a couple photos. Um, and then I can unset or undo my set flag. So now that's flagged again instead of you know, it being unflagged, now it's flagged again. And so just in case you make any mistakes, uh, over on these side, I use for numbers and colors. I don't use these too particularly much, but um, this, like I said, it helps me go through all the photos because I can just go through, say, don't like, go through more, I can get rid of that one. And then, you know, however many times I want to go through, I can just like, okay, I like that one, I'll flag it. This one can probably go. This has really helped me uh, up my game as far as my editing process by taking all the time out of going through the photos one by one, deciding whether or not I like it or not, and just making it streamlined. So I've been able to save hours, literally editing weddings just from this right here. Um, I think it cost me only like 30 bucks, maybe less uh, on, on Amazon. You can get it at any place like Target or Walmart, but definitely Amazon, I Amazon everything. And um, I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested in buying anything like that. So next one. All right, these next two might be a little trickier to record, but I'll see what I can do. Um, so these ones, like I said, I use in combination with each other. I use the pen tool to be able to move around the screen like you can see. Um, you know, if I need to select this or that, I'll do that on that with a pen tool. And then um, I'll use all of these buttons as well as these knobs in the develop module. Like I said, I need to put stickers on all of these uh, just because I can kind of remember what they are, but then I'll still fiddle around. Like I know this one will bring everything into the grid mode. Uh, this one will bring everything in develop, but then everything else over here, I kind of don't remember. So we'll just play around with it and I'll show you. Uh, these buttons are gonna be left and right. These ones are going to be kind of like holding down shift. And then you can also deselect as well. And then this button, uh, I guess puts it in survey mode. Or not. I know this one is undo. So whatever I just did. Oh no, what am I doing? Um, and then I believe this is copy and this is paste. Um, and then we'll figure out what the rest of these are. So go into the develop module. What I'll do is um, I'll usually use the pen tool a little bit later for like if I want to do anything with the adjustment layers over here. And um, but what I'll do is I'll fidget around with this. So let's say, you know, temperature wise, she's a little hot. So I'll lower that down oh, a little bit too much. And you can see it works pretty, pretty. The latency is pretty low um, exposure. Bring that up a little bit. I'm going to bring in just a little bit of contrast bring down some of them highlights, bring up a little bit of shadows, bring down some of them whites as well. Uh, I don't know how I feel about those, the blacks in there, but bring up a little bit more contrast. And you can just see how quick that was. And if I wanted to just copy that, just go into copy, or maybe that's not it. Is that copy? I'm not exactly sure. Like I said, I just got it. But um, what's great with these is that the knobs don't stay where they're at for the next one. So if I go to the next one, the knobs go back to zero and I can start adjusting all over again. And uh, with some of the other MIDI controllers that are out there, um, you'd have to readjust and then adjust every single time you go to the next one. So the next one, contrast, I can bring up, you know, make it very contrasty. Next one over here, change that, bring that down bring this up and then I go to the next one. And that's why it's so invaluable to have these different knobs and buttons to be able to use. 
um, it really makes editing going a lot quicker as well and just to be able to fine tune. Uh, I believe that these buttons right here would be the adjustment uh, zone. So like this is crop. Yep. Uh, so I can use that in combination of this, of the pen tool. And then this one is the clone stamp. Then you have the spot healer or the, I'm sorry, the adjustment brush. And then this one is the gradient brush. Yeah. And then you can turn it off just by selecting it again. And then as far as everything else, as far as tone curves and everything, um, I could probably get into it and, uh, cause they have a whole second button that you can push and then be able to assign more for that. So I'm still playing around with that, but I, I love it so far. It has totally made everything so much easier to do. Um, but yeah. So the combination of the game controller, the tablet pen and the MIDI controller, it makes Lightroom so much faster. And like I said, you can really assign any buttons to any kind of actions that you want in Lightroom as well as Photoshop. And the program that I use for the MIDI controller is called MIDI to LR. It's a free program that's online. I'll send a link down below as well, um, as well as a link to the X-Touch Mini that I have and the tablet that I use for writing and drawing and you know as well you can just look it up online but uh that's it just wanted to make something really quick and easy for you guys to check out let me know what you think in the comments below it, it, trust me if you get any one of these three it's going to make your your editing process so much faster and better all right see you guys later